All right, good morning. Another Smoky Investment Team Spring Football Practice Report. LSU 945 this morning. I don't know that what there was more of this morning. Recruits in attendance for a big junior day today or the Nats that were about to fly away with everybody that was out there. I've never seen so many Nats in my life at practice, uh, but still a very productive practice. Nice and warm. And um, got to see a little bit of uh, special teams work as soon as we walked in the gate. And uh, we'll talk about that and a lot more. I really liked some of the guys that I saw on defense. And as you can see, Preston got with me this morning. Buddy Sanji's taking the day off. And um, we've got, we got a lot to talk about. I think we might even talk a little women's basketball after uh, LSU's win last night and uh, LSU uh, cinching the series against Tennessee in baseball. Well, it was an overcast day, much nicer than the last time we were out here. I got to go look at the offense. A lot of the true freshmen got a little uh, love from the coaches out there. I saw Trey Holly had Frank Wilson in his ear about, you know, you know, doing the drill full speed. Uh, Ricky Collins got a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with Joe Sloan out there, but we got to see uh, the offense scrimmage against air. They all look crisp. Hard not to look crisp against air, but they look crisp. Uh, Miles Frazier back out there at right guard. Uh, looks like that offensive line has a lot of continuity moving forward. And Mac Markway is your first tight end rolling out there. So things rolling on offense. And he looks really good. Yeah, uh, he, he, he looks the part, man. He is a physical specimen. I think LSU is going to be set at tight end for the coming years. And they've got, obviously, more on the way. But um, uh, Coach Denbrock's got to be very happy. In fact, Coach Denbrock talks to the media uh, later on uh, today. Uh, that's uh, He's the first coordinator that we get uh, this spring. And I'll be real curious to see what he says. But again, a lot of recruits on campus. And I uh, also got to see Caleb Jackson uh, walking the sideline, watching the running backs uh, get, uh, uh, get go through drills. And uh, Caleb, of course, uh, Liberty High School signed with LSU. He's, he didn't graduate at midterm. He's running track this spring. He's got a meet coming up at Brule. And then I'm anxious to see what he does in the 100 meters at the state track meet. He had a slow start last year. I think he still ran a 10-6. And so you're talking about a six foot, six foot one, 210 pound running back that's a bruiser to go along with number 25, Trey Holly, who we're seeing out here already. Uh, guys, if you like uh, this practice report, again, hit that like button. Very much appreciated when you guys uh, do that uh, for us uh, here at tigerbait.com. Um, anything else that you uh, noticed? Uh, we tried to split up. Preston was gonna focus on the offense and I was out, out with the defense this morning. Yeah, I mean, I, I also want to mention Ramos nailed all his kicks today. He wasn't far out, 35, 40, but I mean, he was just accurate down the middle, all his kicks. Uh, you got to question his range after last year, so we didn't get to see that today, but the accuracy is definitely there for him. Uh, quarterbacks all look crisp, man. I just want to say Nussmeyer, physically, the release, the arm strength, all there, man. He, he, that, he looks like he'll be one of the better backups in the SEC this year. Of course, Jaden took all the one reps. Doesn't look like much of a quarterback competition to me. It looks like he's their guy, and they're working to develop depth. Yeah, um, of course, the nuts bust people will, will take yeah. issue will take issue with that. And like I said, that's only going to get more and more uh, uh, heated during the offseason on our shows, message boards, uh, Facebook groups, etc. You're either a uh, you, you you can't pull for both. It seems like there, you you nope. a lot of the fans want you to pick one, and then then it's a war. Well, then let me start a real war. They both look very good out. There. Yeah, they do. In fact, Ricky Collins' father was out there today, and um, and I was telling him which I what I something I said, I've been saying on our shows. I think people are foolish if they sleep on Ricky Collins and just think he's a placeholder, and then Colin, Colin Hurley is going to come in at midterm, and Nussmeyer is 100% the guy for 24 and all this stuff. I think Ricky Collins uh, uh, is going to be a guy that uh, has a real opportunity. Um, obviously, he's got uh, that uh, a long release, and I know that's something yeah, they're, they're wanting to shorten release. up. And, and I see some of the drills that Joe Sloan's working on there uh, with him. Coaches uh, are not sleeping on him. Like I said, they are in his face, working with him to really work on his technique. He probably needs to also add a little bit of muscle. But he's added some, and he look, yeah. I, I think he looks great physically. Yeah, uh, for a true freshman, he looks really good physically. Yeah. Uh, of course, this practice report brought to you by the Smoky Investment Team in Alexandria. If you're overwhelmed by all the news and social media in today's world, it is hard not to know what the real facts are. It is so difficult to sift through all of the information at your fingertips. That's where the Smoky Investment Team comes in. 
They will help you manage your money and make the decisions best suited for you and your family. No matter what your life situation is at the moment, whether you're getting married, starting a family, changing jobs, children going to college, or retiring, they are there to support you in making the best investment decisions for your individual situation. When you invest your money with the Smoky Investment Team, you got over 40 years of uh, investment experience to give you the confidence to make those all important decisions. Let Brian or Bart Smokey help you uh, with your future, with the future you want. Call them at 318-448-3201. That's 318-448-3201. Securities and advisory service, services offered through LPL Financial, a registered investment advisor, member FINRA slash SIPC. Uh, nobody better than the Smokies. Uh, husband and son team right there in Alexandria and uh, now more than ever you need uh, that experience uh, I was watching the defense today I really like the way Sage Ryan is looking um, I, I think uh, he's he's look, look like he's playing with a lot more confidence they were running uh, both the uh, the defensive back groups uh, through some figure eight grill, uh, drills um, Kerry Cooks and Steeples I got I shot a lot of that video uh, you'll see that on Tiger Bay. We're going to have two video packages. My package that I shot, Preston was also shooting. So you'll want to go to Tiger Bait and subscribe for $1 if you're not already a premium subscriber with it with us uh, on that. And uh, again, we're going to have Denbrock later on as well. Um, let me see. There was some other guys that I, I really like. Oh, linebackers, Whit Weeks. Um, I really like the way he looks. Um, got some. Re he, he really is good on his feet. Uh, he and... Uh, Harold Perkins were running back to back on some drills where they had to uh, release and, and hit a dummy. I've got a lot of that good video. Again, look, you see the Nats? Can you see them on yeah, the screen? I, I see them in front of my face. They're swarming me. Um, what is with the Nats? It, um, they must be hyped for the women's we got, basketball team. Yeah, we got overcast skies. The, the lights are on at uh, Alex Box, one o'clock uh, game three at Alex Box. Um, let's see what else I had for you guys. Um, You bought up Markway. I also yeah, like. Markway. I also McGowan also, is the, the. He ran with the twos today. Yeah, he looks, I, he looks very. Short. I like Jackson McGowan as well, and uh, as you guys know, for most of these practice reports, I really like uh, Jalen Brown, number fourteen, a wide receiver out of Miami. Uh, he's absolutely fantastic. Um, Anything else you needed to add that you haven't gotten in yet? No, it's just a great opportunity for these tight ends, man. Mason Taylor continues to be out. So these two true freshmen come in, and both of them physically look the part. Mac Markway got the first team reps. McGowan got the second team reps. I wonder how far that gap is. Is it really set in stone there, or are those guys neck and neck? Because they will. you will see two tight ends. They're both going to play. Yeah, and, and then Kamoran Pimpton comes in for the fall, and he's probably the best receiver of the group. Uh, it, it'll be interesting to see. I think McGowan probably is the most developed as a blocker at this point. Uh, I, I, I just wonder if there's any chance that once Pimplin gets there, if there's any chance that one of the freshmen would end up in a red shirt. Well, almost one. You have three of them. There's no way. You can't play four tight ends. Uh, but I, I think some of them are going to play, or maybe one of them, you get them in the four games. I don't know. It, it's. I mean, at this point, you have to say uh, Pimpton's probably the, the way that likely. The way that they're wanting to use more double tight end sets I mean, there's a real scenario where it, it might be difficult unless someone's uh, head starts swimming. <laughs> um, guys, what about the LSU women's basketball team? Going to play for a national championship tomorrow. Absolutely amazing. It's been gravy every win the last few weeks. They've gone further than anybody can imagine. And uh, I'm going to give you a little shout out to Buddy Sanji right here because I floated the idea on the show Wednesday night. What if Iowa... What if Iowa knocks off South Carolina and Buddy's like, oh, the one game at a time? Well, Buddy, I'm, 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 I'm I, 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 I called it, and there, and, and what well, is? Oh, we got a train coming. Brian Kelly had to back up. Yeah, out of the I, way I, I, and I missed the train. Yeah, obviously, uh, uh <laughs> obviously Clark is going to be something to deal with. Uh, uh, she is absolutely fantastic. If you stayed up and watched South Carolina and Iowa last night. Um, but um, you have to like LSU's matchup against Iowa better than South Carolina, right? I do, because and, and, I, I don't think there's a if there's a mental thing with South Carolina after the way uh, that game went down in Columbia earlier in the year. Um, I think LSU's got a better chance against Iowa than South Carolina. I could be wrong. Um, either way, I think LSU's an underdog against both of them. 
Uh, but one thing we've seen and one thing we've known about Kim Mulkey over the years is the fact that uh, defense has won her championships. She had Baylor teams that beat LSU with fouls and, and, and Simone Augustus. And so she, she has a good way of uh, beating teams that have marquee players. And uh, so we'll see what kind of uh, game plan that her and Bob Starkey come with for tomorrow. And um, a lot of excitement. I think a lot of LSU fans are somehow going to try and make their way to Dallas and see if they can get tickets for that one tomorrow. No doubt, man. I'm excited to see it. First time I ever see an LSU basketball team playing for a national title, men or women. Well, it's the first. Yeah. And so it's uh, it's it's unbelievable. The multi fever is, is kicking a whole other gear, and um, that train loves its horn. Yeah, it? boy, it does. Um, baseball team goes for the sweep today. We'll see if they can get it done. But obviously, uh, you know, the goal in all these SEC series is to take two out of three. And it's really gravy if you can get a third. And uh, there's no doubt in anyone's mind that this is the number one team in the country. Um, incredible. All right, guys, go to Tiger Bait, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button here on the YouTube channel and hit that notification bell. Uh, we've got a lot of video coming your way. We're on the ground at the Final Four. If you look at our channel, loads of content from last night. And uh, we've got more coming your way today. There's press conferences today. Uh, more media opportunities and of course we're going to be there tomorrow covering it live in Dallas uh, right here on our YouTube channel for Tiger Bait. All right guys have a good weekend we'll see you on the other side.